What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Um, I am setting up my Godox for the first time and I thought I'd do a little video on how to change out for the Bowens mount if you guys are using Bowen adapters along with setting up the light, some of the stuff they give you and just make it a little easier for you. Um, I was able to find it inside of the directions here and um, it starts off in Chinese and then Chinese or Korean and then it goes into English in the back. Three little diagrams, super easy to do, but I'll show you guys here. That way you guys can do it with me. So guys, when you get your Bowens, I'm sorry, when you get your Godox um, A400, it looks something just like this. So we have the cap, um, we have the reflector, and then we have the um, flash itself. The battery goes here, the battery's charging right now. So on the top here, the first thing you guys are gonna do is there's a little switch right here that pulls back and this will loosen this. So you're going to turn it counterclockwise, I believe, to get it off. So now you're left with just the flash head. Um, before we put the, the light in, before we put this baby in, let's go ahead and get this set up. So in the box came with the Bowens mount, the adapter, and then it came with an Allen wrench and four little screws. You're only going to use two of these screws because you're going to use the two screws that are already built in. So just think of them as extra, which is totally cool. So what we're gonna do here, the first thing we're gonna do is on the top of the Godox here itself, you'll see two little screws, one and two. If you flip below, you're gonna notice that there's two empty little holes here. That's where the other two screws are gonna go. So you're gonna use the top two and then take two more and put it on the bottom. So let's do that right now. All we're gonna do is just loosen this baby up and we're gonna take, <laughs> So although if you have a better Allen wrench, use that. I'm just trying to show you guys this with their Allen wrench and I hate these little things, but it works out. So we're just gonna unscrew these. Now, when I was researching um, this whole system, I knew that I could change this out and I'll show you guys kind of the issues with it once you change it out and how to rectify that if you'd like. But Godox doesn't have a quick way for you to put the original reflector on. So what's gonna happen, as you guys are gonna see, is that the reflector that it came with, this thing, is theoretically unusable when you use the Bowens uh, adapter. I am not one to unscrew and screw this on on location with this little Allen wrench and these little screws every single freaking time. So you have to find a different way, especially if you shoot with Bowens. It's a downfall on their end. I am sure they know about it. I'm hoping they'd fix it. Um, all right, so we're gonna take this adapter and you see how you have this little thing right here and that little thing right there, it's just gonna match up and it's just gonna slide on super easily. Now all the holes match. So we're just gonna kind of put this baby right back together. Not too hard guys. So we're just gonna, you want it uh, hand tightened. So just get it pretty good with the long end and then you're gonna turn it to the short end. Just be careful with your light guys. And this is why you don't wanna start with your light bulb, the, uh, the flash bulb inside while you're doing this because if something happens that will break and without a bulb there is no flash all right let's keep this going fits right in like a glove A glove that doesn't fit. Hold on. No, oh, that was just my bad. So I'm really excited to use these. This might all be fast forwarded. We're gonna fast forward this.
Okay, so now I have all of them set in. We're gonna put our light through. Guys, I recommend using gloves with this. I'm not gonna use gloves. So you just match them up. It doesn't even really matter which end is which end. It's just, actually, it'll naturally kind of position it for you. So I lied about that, sorry. That doesn't fit there. There you go. So it's only one way to go in, but they, they've adapted it. So that's the way you put it in. So you're just gonna slowly slide this in. There's no click, there's no anything. It just goes all the way in. And that's the setup for that. So guys, here's the issue. Here's a drawback with this thing, is that I shoot with, uh, I shoot with uh, Westcott mounts, but you know you can buy whatever adapter you want. I don't have anything Godox built, um, which means that all of my adapters um, do not are not native to Godox. So, as you can see, once we have this on, there's no way for me to get this to stay on. Let me pull this off so you guys can see. Oh my God, was this made out of Zeus's beard? Okay. Um, there's a clippy thing here. So it has its little uh, um, clip set inside. So I can't put this on and leave this on, which means it won't stay protected, which means if I'm shooting, it's just gonna fall right off. I, I don't know why they didn't build a system in here that, that maybe is another adapter or something that went in here that would fit the Bowens mount. So you can leave this on and still use their setup. So you just simply can't do it. So if you guys are using Bowen mounts, there's a couple things I recommend. The first thing is buying any type of other modifier Bowen. This is the Interfit system. Buying their system, uh, buying just the cap. And what happens is you need to protect this. So basically it makes it a little bit longer, but I can put this in turn it and it's automatically now covered. Um, my light is up to here. So this is all extra space. So if you can find something smaller, use that. Um, I love this, it protects enough. Um, it does a great job of what it's supposed to do. And then I also recommend getting seven inch reflectors. So the other thing I recommend guys is grabbing one of these. Um, and I just got these off of Amazon. Uh, they're seven inch reflectors. And I actually got these so that I could insert a, um, a grid in here. So, cause when I shoot, I shoot a lot of gridded work. So this will fit directly onto this when you're shooting. So you won't need to use um, the reflector per Godox anymore. Or just normally this is on a light stand when you guys do it. Just like so. So super simple, this will work, I can use this. So what's gonna happen guys, at this point, this thing that they gave you, if you're a Bowens mount shooter like I am, is just useless at this point. You keep it in a bag just in case you need to travel or something needs to happen. Um, or if you start using Godox modifiers that are made for this, and maybe that's why they did it, but their modifiers are made for this, um, then keep that. But otherwise, store it in the box, store it in the, uh, in the garage. You really will not need to keep this with you at all. That is one of the downfalls for Godox right now. With this, it's kind of a little irritating. Um, and it's a super simple thing that they should have just known. And you know, whether they're trying to sell more of this, I totally get it, whatever. Um, but that's it. Sorry for the bad lighting, guys. It's late in the evening. I didn't want to set up a light. But if you guys have any questions, let me know. If you guys help, if this video helped you out, if this video helped you out in any way, please consider subscribing. Um, give it a thumbs up and then click that bell for notifications. You guys will know more when I'm back. Hope you guys are having a good day. I will talk to you later.